Hey, and welcome back to another video. So this is another repairs playlist video. Um, it's also a parts lot video because what I have here is a three part lot of what I can tell from these images is an iPhone 3G. Uh, the difference between a 3G and a 3GS is the 3GS, the writing at the back is more silverish, it's more shiny, whilst the 3G, as in this photo, it's dull. So it's a dull gray instead of shiny. The other phone, I think, is an HTC 510. Um, not really sure, but I think it's an HTC 510. Um, and what I, the real reason I bought this lot is not those two. It's this, the iPod Nano 6 Gen that's in there. So if you don't know, the iPod Nano 6 Gen is what they call the iPod watch. Because people used to wear it as a watch on their wrist to a point where Apple even put watch faces on it. So... I always wanted to have one of those. And I have another one on its way with another iPod as well. So stay tuned for that. But um, these are listed as broken. The phone and the uh, the iPhone and the HTC, I honestly don't care about them, but it's the reason I bought. The reason I bought this is for the iPod. Um, the original description is here, the price and all of that that's on screen there. I think it was like $15 of $9, I can't remember, but the price is on screen. Um, also, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And also click that bell notification button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Discord and Instagram, so you can follow me there. The links will be down in the description. Um, so pretty well packed. Um, let's see. So now the, the, the iPhone and the HTC have completely destroyed displays. Uh, I don't know if the LCDs are destroyed as well, but the uh, the digitizers are completely shot. So <clears throat> let's see. So I haven't opened up an iPhone 3G, 3GS in a long time. That'll be somewhat fun. Okay, so here first is the iPod, the main star of this show, the reason I bought this. And I'll be doing a separate video on it. Uh, trying to repair it. I want to do a separate repair video on it. It also has a clip like an iPod uh, iPod shuffle. It Because uh, it could be clipped. It's almost the same size. Um, let's take an Apple Watch. and it's, it's a bit bigger than an Apple Watch. And it lo it'll look pretty nice on a wrist. I always wanted one of these but back in 2010. But I my dad let me only have the iPod Touch. He's like, I did this or the iPod Touch. So... I obviously chose the iPod Touch. So let's get to that in a minute. All buttons seem fine. Volume up and down. The screen has no scratches on it. It's in pristine condition. As you can see there, there are no scratches whatsoever. Uh, it's got an engraving at the back because Apple used to do engravings for these things. What does it say? Life is loving and laughing. So I think it's a different version of live, laugh, love, I guess, whatever. I don't know. But um, let's take the other two out. Here we have the HTC. So it's a cricket phone, mentally twisted. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an HTC 510 from what I saw in the pictures. It has a screen protector on it. So that's keeping all the glass in place. Uh, see if it powers on. It's pretty dirty as well. I probably had to clean it out a bit. It's pretty filthy. Uh, yeah, it's sticky. Uh, obviously, it's not going to power on, like said. Here's the iPhone. Uh, heavily scratched. The glass is damaged. The button feels weird. And yeah, it's an iPhone 3G. It's not a 3GS. So, firstly, I'd want to clean these out a bit because they're a bit sticky. But I'll clean them and be right back. Okay, so I cleaned them a bit and I'm back. Uh, let's plug in the HTC. I'm not expecting anything from this, considering how much it's damaged. Do we have a bad port here? No. Uh, let's see. Um, nope, we're not getting anything. No charging symbol, nothing. The display seems okay, as far as I can see. Um, let me take a, hold up, let me take a light to it. Um, where's my flashlight? Here we are. So, the display doesn't seem damaged as far as I can tell. Maybe it's under the glass, but I don't know. Let's see if the iPhone's display is damaged. 
Now the LCD is in perfect condition. So the uh, that's not turning on. Um, let's try a power volume down and power button together. Oh, it did turn on, but it's got a smash display. There we go. See that? Okay. Um, this has a smash display. Probably didn't see it because of all the cracks, but yeah, it it's turned on. It's just the display is obliterated. Um, yeah, that's useless. Now, an HTC Five Ten. It's not it's not a big deal of a phone. It's pretty pretty crappy phone. It was a budget phone. I'm not gonna spend any money on this. Maybe if I get the display, the display and the digitizer for like below ten bucks, I'll probably do it for another video. But I'm not going to spend much time on that. Let me know if you want to see a restoration on this because it'll be fun, but I'm not going to spend too much on it. Below 10 bucks. I'm not going above that because it's not really worth it. That was a budget phone anyway. Okay, so the iPhone 3GS, well, 3G. Um, I don't have a 3GS to show you right here, but this is a 3G because of the, the letters are more grayish instead of silverish. Let's see if this thing turns on. Hmm. Completely dead. It could be a battery issue, um, but we'll see. Let's just leave it plugged in for a minute, see what happens. Um, yeah, it probably is a battery because I don't get, I'm not getting anything on the screen. I don't think this crack is it. the reason it broke. It's probably just a shot battery or something. Uh, we'll take it apart in a minute and see what's up. Um, come on, let's let's just give it a minute here, see what happens. In the meantime, maybe... Oh, wait, I do have only one of these cables. Wait up. Let's see if the iPod... Now, this one is what I'm really waiting for to see if it works. It's... Oh. Oh, it works. I thought it was listed as broken. Huh. Maybe it keeps shutting off real fast, so maybe it has a bad battery. Uh, Flow Rider, good feeling. How do you go back on this thing? I've never used one of these. Okay, so I think what we have here is a bad battery. Um, he hadn't listed it as that. So I'm not gonna go into pictures or whatever now because I'm pretty sure his personal information is on that. There are pictures and stuff. So I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna wipe it first. Let's take it off the charger. Yeah, there we go. So we have a battery issue here. We have a bad battery. So I guess we'll be doing a battery replacement on this. Um, it's in pristine condition, so it deserves a new battery. It's untouched, it probably perfectly works. Let me get a pair of headphones. I'm pretty sure the headphone jack works, so. Yeah, so what we have here is a bad battery. That's great, so I don't really have to get into too much repairing into it. And I consider this as one of the easiest repairs of any iPod, because there's only one screw on the inside, I think. All you need to do is heat up the display, lift it, one, uh, that's a steel shield, lift that, and then you have access to everything. So, really good design in terms of repairability, I like that. Um, and we can easily replace the battery. So, we're, what we have here is a bad battery. So, I'll look at that later. Uh, let me just take it off the charger for now. That's a great, that's a great thing, it's, it works. Uh, it's not anything else. It's not another hardware issue. It's only a battery issue. So let's see what this iPhone 3G has in store for us. Let's uh, leave it on the charger for a bit and see what happens. I'll be right back after about 20 minutes. Okay, so the iPhone 3G won't turn on. So I guess let's take it apart. I'm assuming again, it's a battery issue. Um, it might be a restoration for the summer. Well, not this summer, because I'm not going home. I have all my stuff in uh at home and i won't be going back for summer so oh, i'm sorry so it'll probably be a restoration for december because i'm hopefully going home in december um because of this stupid virus i all my plans were cancelled so this has standard uh phillips screws if you can see there get that to focus it has standard phillips screws unlike newer iphones which have those uh proprietary screws um, so this was back in like what this was released in 2008 as the follow-up to the original iPhone um, 
I don't think there's any glue holding this together. Uh, even if it does, the glue is probably so old that it's not gonna stick anymore. So let's just try pulling it up with a suction cup thingamajig and see what happens. Um, the cracks are probably gonna make it harder um, to get a good, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, I don't think these were stuck down in the first place anyway. Um, I don't wanna crack the glass even more. Let's see. These were when phones were, a time when phones were easy to take apart. Uh, now it's just, well, you know, now it's all glue and stuff. Back then there was nothing of the sort. It was just, you know, just screws and, you know, good old clips and stuff. I liked this design, but this, using these does not allow it to be waterproof. So that's the only downside. Let's try this spot. The cracks aren't helping that much. Okay, we got one side up. Okay, pretty easy stuff. This phone has not been taken apart in its entire life. I know that because this is there. Maybe it got a display replacement, but how? I know that it's probably not got a display replacement as well, because original Apple displays have these yellow, these uh. These, uh, you can see these orange colored uh, things, uh, markings like numbered. The original iPhone 3G and 3GS displays and parts, they always had these numbered internals. You can see here, five, six, all the, the connectors were numbered. Um, doesn't look like it's water damaged or anything, but it does have, oh wait, is it water damaged? It's got red. Oh, it's water damaged. Look at that. If you can see all the corrosion there. So we have a water damaged iPhone. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting because I recently bought another water damaged phone and that thing is not cooperating. I'll end up, I'll, I'll put a video out on it, but the repair, kind of a spoiler here, the repair wasn't successful because um, it's beyond repairable. It's garbage at this point. I won't tell you what the phone is, but I'll put the video up in a few days. Sorry about that. My uh, phone ran out of storage, but I cleared it up. Um, so what I was saying was, uh, let's try and get this repaired. The other phone, not much luck, but the connectors on this look pretty bad. We shall see. So. This thing has a bunch of screws all over the place. Let's just get the motherboard out of there. Um, I remember one of the first phones I learned to repair was an iPhone 3G. So this is like, uh, I probably have muscle, muscle memory if I can do this while my eyes are closed. Because um, I my, one of my first phones that I repaired was an iPhone 3G and a 3GS. <laughs> iPhone oh boy there's a lot of water damage there okay uh, the rest looks pretty okay I'm pretty sure the camera will never work again but whatever the battery doesn't look like bloated or anything let's test it hold up let's see if we have some sort of power coming from that battery um, because if that's the case, I might have to get a battery and upload this video later if we're doing a full restoration on this thing. Um, auto, let's see. No, let's put it to voltage. Okay, let's see if we got any power. Uh, no, we are completely dead. So there's absolutely no power on this battery. I'm te there, are, there are four separate pins and I completely forgot which pin is which. 
but I'm cross-checking all the pins. And no, I'm pretty sure this thing was water damaged a long time back. No one tried to fix it. And its battery just was left to rot there. Okay, so we have a completely shot battery. We might be able to kind of jumpstart it if you put it on charge, but we still had to figure out the uh, the phone's uh, issue with uh, the water damage. This module is going to be junk too if all the water got inside it. And we're going to have problems with this charging circuit. Um, I can't remember how to take this apart, but... There was a way to get into this. Now, the war is this a water indicator? No, it's not. It's just a sticker. Okay. Um no water marks on the rest of the phone. So let's go douse this in alcohol. Let me get some of the alcohol here. On a second thought, I probably want to take this off. This uh shielding. Uh, damage all over the place there's a lot there there's some there i don't know let's see let's grab the alcohol and some paper oh tissue paper and douse it this kind of damage requires a douse uh so i hope the parts don't come flying off because usually the the ends will be rusted out and uh, they might come flying off. So you gotta be very careful with that. Um, there's a shit ton of rust here. So the water damage is really, really bad. Um, I might really have to give up on this. I don't know. Because uh, the more I look closely at it, the more screwed up it looks. Um, but you know let's not give up let's just keep trying because there's a chance this might really actually work Let's, let's not put the faceplate back on. Let's, uh, we don't need the, we don't need these parts for it to work. So we can just not use them. Let's get some stuff on there as well. Um, we don't need the camera and stuff. So let's just put the main parts back together. Uh, this goes in first. I think the reason that it was harder to put was the corrosion on the pins. So I'm kind of worried the display might not work because of the corrosion. But let's see. Let's see what happens. And I plug this in. So we got nothing on display yet. Let's try pressing the power button. Nope. Not getting anything. Let's leave it plugged in. Um, hold up. So we're not getting anything from that. 
it's something I want to test too. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to test the, uh, the power delivery from this. So I want to test some, I want to test if this part has actually, if, if this is actually getting power from it. Let me lift that up. If you want to know why there's a bottle of dish soap, that's where all my, um, where I keep the alcohol. So, I don't think we're getting power. Um, hold up. Get rid of this sticker. take it out of the boat take this part out separately and see what's up because um, I'm assuming maybe the boat itself is not getting power um, because of that let's take this out plug it in Where's it? okay it could be just this part. Maybe the board is just fine after the cleaning. Um, could just be this. Still not getting anything. Nope. Not getting anything. I'm supposed to get something out of this. We have a bad connector. Connector looks extremely corroded. I don't know if that's cu cu coming up on uh, camera there, but the connector is extremely corroded. All right, let's clean it. Maybe that's why there is no power. Okay, so I don't think that's... Wait, hold up. Let me... Try and test it now. different test I kind of messed with the uh, the the connect the connector there the uh, this part and I got some readings off it they're not like normal readings but they're really irregular but look at this let me show you this I hate when these wires get entangled look look at that So you can see we have certain value so we do have power it's not that we don't i'm not very sure about exactly how many volts should be traveling through there so i can't really tell that off my head but this thing is still not turning on i tried it again um so i'll try cleaning it out once more and then we'll try but if it doesn't work after that let's all right so i cleaned it out a couple more times and it's not helping so I have one more trick up my sleeve before I completely abandon this, and that is my heat gun. Let's heat it up a bit, see what happens. Let's heat it up quite a lot, not a bit. So, cause this part of the boat can be heated to uh, about 200 degrees Celsius, I guess. That's the melting point of uh, most of the solder on here. I'm not sure what's 200 degrees in Fahrenheit, cause I'm not used to the Fahrenheit scale but it's 200 degrees celsius around that i'm not gonna measure it or anything but let's just heat it up and see what happens even if we heat it up way too much that's okay the boat is still screwed anyway so whatever 
Okay, so after heating it up and I put it back all together, put all the screws in and everything. If it doesn't work this time around, I'll just call it a day because the video is getting too long now. Let's plug it in. Uh, I doubt it. I heated it quite a lot, but it just doesn't want to turn on. Um, maybe the water damage was just way too much for it. Maybe it was just water damage for way too long. Um, and yeah, it doesn't look like it'll ever turn on. Um, usually when water damage occurs, you gotta dry it out as much as you can. If you let the water sit in there for too long, it's gonna really affect the board. Um, it may be the board, it may be the bottom part, the, uh, the charging connector and all that stuff. There was power coming through, but I'm not really sure about what values we're expecting in terms of power. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not working. It's just shot. Um, I, I also tested some power on the board. There were points where power was flowing through the board, but it's just, uh, so damaged. It's, the board is just beyond repair. Um, as far as I know, I mean, I'm pretty sure if I had more tools, I could look into it a bit closer. Like if I had like a microscope and the ability to, uh, do micro soldering, but I don't, I don't have the tools, neither do I have the skills. I've done some basic micro soldering with a tiny tipped, with a really tiny tipped uh, standard soldering iron. Um, that was some time back too, but not on like, not on a daily basis. I'm not that experienced. So that's it for this video, but let's have a recap of what we got. So we got uh, three devices, an iPhone 3GS, water damaged, HTC 510, Desire 510, um, display is shot, not going to fix it. It's not really a valuable phone. I checked the prices of uh, displays and stuff while this was, while I was fixing this as well. They're in the 20 to $30 range. I'm not gonna spend that much money on a phone that's probably worth $2 on eBay. So those two are just gonna sit there forever, I guess. This one, it the battery is holding a bit of charge because I left it on the charger, but it's dying really fast. The battery is dying really fast, so it's not gonna last that long. Probably maybe um, 10 minutes off the charger-ish. The battery is pretty weak. So we'll do a replacement battery on this, um, maybe in a week or so when I buy it. The batteries are pretty cheap, by the way, like five, ten dollars So stay tuned for that. But we have a working iPod and this is the main reason I bought this part slot. It's because of this iPod. So that's a win there. Um, the, the main reason is working. So that's great. These two will just sit there for the rest of their life, I guess. Um, I don't know what I'll do with them. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, as usual, consider please consider subscribing. Thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video.